It examines getting older, uh, what we believe in, how to keep ourselves interested in life. Um, and there's a spiritual, a subtle spiritual aspect to it as well that I think is beautifully done. I think it's really hard to write a simple script that still has subtext and, um, and that moves you. It's a very difficult thing to do. So I was impressed by his writing. Then I met him in person and he was so enthusiastic about the material, but that, that's not enough really. A lot of people can be enthusiastic. I just felt he understood what he was doing. And he had um, a passion for it. I thought he was smart. I thought he was funny. I could tell he was a leader. Um, he seemed like he really had very clear views about what he wanted to be the film about and what the tone of the film would be. And, and he um, executed all of those ideas that I had about him. He was amazing. She's exquisite in the role. She's just um, deeply moving. She's charming, she's funny, she's, I think, really reflects the truth of, of examining one's life towards past the middle section. It's about survival, it's about um, finding joy even in the weirdest places, even after loss, and, um, and she does find joy again. But I think the relationship with Sam sort of wakes her up in a certain way, out, and, and, the, and the relationship with the pool guy, Martin Starr, kind of wakes her up to uh, a new consciousness about what's possible in these remaining years. I think they'll relate to it. Um, I think even the young people will learn something, but I think older people will definitely uh, connect on many levels. I think they'll be entertained, um, but I think they will be able to relate to some of these emotions that Blythe goes through in the circumstances that she's in, and, and ultimately, uh, it can be sad in places, but ultimately, I think you come out feeling that there are possibilities.